Um, I thought we'd just have a quick look at this. Uh, my partner in crime today is held up at the other end of the estate where we're working today with a machine up there. So I thought we'd just have a quick look. Um, nasty old beach. It was kind of it's bowed and swept and everything all over the place. And uh, it was actually taken down because, let's have a look here. There's, there's one of the old fruiting bodies there. And there's more in here. Um, as you can see now uh, the actual stem itself is in a lot better condition than we thought uh, so I suppose really it's lucky for us unlucky for the tree and um, but it was taken down because of that uh, fungus around the bottom there and you can see why this is all this old wall that's original old wall there albeit brick it's old uh, and these granite pillars here which are fairly delicate for where they are this is the back of uh, a, a garden of an estate um, actual fact there's just been some tourists even at this time of year just gone through a very popular place so so we're just milling away there oh by the way in case anybody's one I didn't fail this now um, and the lads had cut in a round look and put a chain onto this because when, when it came down the uh, there's a lot of buttress root in here and an old wall so what they were worried about was as it came down here and if it came back bang would it roll onto those so they immobilized it the stem onto that which was a good idea um took a bit of work but they did it anyway so we're just milling away twin five seven sixes uh eight pin sprocket um 404 oregon hyper ch skip chain um so I've just given that a bit of a rub actually um, running very well we're very pleased with that I have to say so I thought I'd just fill in a few minutes and just have a look at that um, we put the winch on a couple of days ago uh, Friday actually uh, and I have to say it's working really well it takes all the guesswork out of are we both pushing at the same time as he pushing am I pulling you know yourself um, with two people trying to control in this in essence one cutter um, it can be quite difficult um, but that's taken and you can feed the saws in nicely with that a lot better than you'd think so let's have a look at this yeah like I say that's going to be nice isn't it when it finished um, so we're very happy with that um, I'll just go across here there's been a couple of questions about the 572 and um, again here it is just lurking in the back did a bit of work this morning um very very happy with the saw we tried it milling the other day just out of curiosity and um, the filtration system on it is just absolutely fantastic um so very happy that's done a reasonable amount of work now um i've purposely been using it uh, in instances where perhaps i wouldn't have used one of my ported saws i've made it work hard and i'm over the moon with it i have to say they've really got on top of the game with that particular model there uh, so very happy with it and on the point of the air filtration this saw here this 576 I was actually talking about this to someone this morning this is as you would be used to seeing it in the North American market high topped air filter this I used to use down on my end and of course that's where all the sawdust is getting pumped out and the thing used to be choked after a couple of runs um, uh, uh, so that I purposely put the 572 this end just to see and it was remarkable the difference that's still very good nothing gets by it the filter but it's just the amount of stuff that was being fed up into it compared to the 572 was pretty incredible uh, really is a big difference so as much as I'm sorry to see these go off the lineup they're a great saw but at least there is huge progress been made with the 572 okay let's just have a look up here heard of Angus cattle there it's, isn't that a lovely scene it was lovely and sunny a few minutes ago um, it's just clouded over a little bit so all is well with the world and the cattle are grazing like that that's good isn't it just actually another point when I'm rambling on here uh, and just filling in a bit of time uh, these boots now these high axe boots they're just over a year old now um, high axe forest pros I seem to recall um, I got them from a company bricks workwear here in Ireland and I have to say I'm astounded that they're still after over a year of thrashing through brambles and rubbish and being wet a lot of the time they've done very well I have to say so well done bricks workwear